Alright, San Cristobal de las Casas is in the southern state of Chiapas and is considered a Pueblo Mágico, which means a magic town, which means that it's full of historic and cultural background. And I'm here just to figure out why a lot of digital nomads like to stay in this town. Hola. 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 So I'm staying in a hostel called 13 Cielos and Cowork and it's very close to downtown. And the reasons that I chose this place is because it has really nice private dorms. It also has a co-working spot. And a friend of mine opened this place a few months ago. So I'm just excited to check it out. Leo and I, we met in Sayulita, mm -hmm. what, like two years ago, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, yeah. And now you're living here in San Cristobal, no? Yeah. And you are, you are your, your own hostel. Yeah which I'm very happy for you. So Thank you, man. Thank you. One of the first things to do when you go to Mexico, of course, is eat some tacos. So with Leo, we're gonna get one of the best and closest from the hostel. Coleto is, means uh, people living in San Francisco. What I love about typical tacos is you can add all kinds of sauces that you Always, want. Always, yeah. That's, that's my favorite part of, of the tacos. <laughs> For people that don't know, this is rice milk. Oh yeah? I didn't, I didn't even know. You didn't know? No. You didn't know? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay. So there's a few main walking streets in San Cris, but the one that you're always gonna walk is called Real de Guadalupe. And it's this long, long, colorful, beautiful street. Like there's so many things happening in restaurants, coffee shops. Pretty sure you're gonna always walk around this street. So Chiapas is one of the largest coffee exporters of the world. So if you're a coffee lover, like this is like the heaven because there's so many coffee shops around the town. There are coffee farms, they, they know everything about coffee. And look at the shape of this coffee, it's so cool, you know? Because you put your nose on it, so you can smell it while you drink it. i never seen this before, it's pretty cool. And I got a dessert, like a Japanese dessert. There's so many coffee shops to explore. I'm so excited to be here for that, you know? It got a little bit rainy today, so that's why you can see the water on the floor. But I'm gonna go and check out the walking tours. It's a good way to get to know the city. Any direction that you start walking here in San Cristobal, it is very pretty. There's a lot of heating places and very colorful um, houses and yeah, really nice views. So I encourage yeah everyone to walk as much as you can. This is San Domingo's church. And as you can see, a lot of love and dedication was put into the creation of this church. You can see it in the amount of detail that it has. And they're been painting all over San Cristobal, so for sure you're gonna start recognizing their style in different parts of the city. Because some people might consider him schizophrenics and other others think. Bosch is an authentic steel from the region of the highlands of Chiapas. Bosch has nothing to do with agave, you know, it's basically a drink made out of corn. There are other two ingredients in the blend. One is the sugar cane and the other one is the cereal wheat. Uh -huh. So the three ingredients go through a process of fermentation and then through a distillation process. It, was the first it is strong. So there's a few co-working spaces to check out in San Cruz and I came to this one called Centralita with some friends because I heard it's one of the first ones that opened in the area. It's like very close to downtown, spacious, tons of tables, like Wi-Fi is okay. Is the best co-work? The best co-work, yeah. We crashed a party of a, of a girl <laughs> having, a, having a birthday here in the co-work and they gave us some Tres Leches cake. <laughs> yeah man, it's so good. Is it good? It's moist. <laughs> yeah, if you want to have a nice co-working close to downtown, check this one. So the hostel is in there that is called Barrio de los Cerrillos. It's very close to downtown, but I'm gonna get some coffee and some bread so we can start exploring the whole area. This is one of the best ways to start the day, you know? And I'm here in the Guadalupe Church. It's a little bit of a walk to get here, but it's just, San Cris is very Catholic. So one of the main attractions of the city is the churches. There's so many. It's one of the nicest one, because you can go up in the morning and just see the whole city waking up. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, that's just... 
So if you're into vegan or vegetarian food, there's a lot of restaurants here in San Cruz. I just found this one called Te Quiero Verde. Oh man, I just got this crumbled tofu wax. Really, really good. All right, so today we're going out of of San Cruz and going to the main attractions around. Where, where are we? We're in the canyon of the Sumidero, bro. This is one of the highest points of Chiapas. <laughs> First, we start with the viewpoints, right? Mm -hmm. You see a few viewpoints and then we actually go down. Yeah. On a boat. boat. To the whole canyon. Yeah. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. The perfect drink. This is like the, the, the Thailand of, of Mexico. So then we ended up in the small town uh, called Chapa de Corso. No? It's like Chapa de Corso. So, so Cañón de Sumer is a must. Yeah, yeah, you definitely have to do it. Yeah, <laughs> it's number one. So in Chiapas, it's one of the states that you can actually see most of the indigenous people living in the whole area. Ten minutes away, there's a few towns and I just arrived to one called San Juan de Chamula. We're gonna check inside this church that they say that they kill some chickens and stuff like that and they have Coca-Cola, like all these kind of weird rituals, so curious to see. So unfortunately, you can't make videos inside of the church. They, they try to like exchange one life for each other, like they kill a chicken um, and then they try to heal the other person, like to exchange a life. But it was really hard to see it, to be honest. Yeah. So the next town, seven kilometers away from San Juan, is Sinangatan. So we're just gonna go walk around and I wanna show you something very special. Senora! Yeah, okay, let me give you a quick story time. Seven years ago, an architect from my university invited me to participate in a project that we spent 30 days with some students building a house. And this is the house that you're looking at. Every single thing, we brought the wood, we created this window, like uh, we created the bricks. Actually, this house was made to help the organization of women that do textiles. And here, I wanted to show you, you can come here and see how they make the textile. And they have like all these warehouses, you can buy anything. It's just like, that's why you saw the lady there, like um, we build this to help them create more textiles. That's so cute. And also see the house and get some food, like authentic handmade food. So everything is there. So, so all your your I'm so happy to see the house again and gotta thank everyone who invited me. It's just a beautiful project. <laughs> So now we're gonna go and check out the Sinanca Town downtown because there's a whole festival for the Saint of San Lorenzo. So like the whole community is here. Oh. And even if I'm Mexican, there's so many culture things that I don't know, like Chiapas at least. So many indigenous traditions I never knew about. So it's very interesting to see. So one of the, the things to do in Chapels, of course, is Arcotete. Arcotete. It's like the natural park and you haven't been there yet. No, like, no, like I've been there for one year. It's the first time I'm going. The first time, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so okay, this lady has been like two weeks in Mexico <laughs> and haven't tried micheladas. That's like a classic must. flavor. <laughs> Not too 
too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what is the Michelada has? The internals, they put some oh, like lemon sauce, yeah. like that, the Worcestershire like sauce. sauce. Like every, I like it. I don't care. Watch, uh, I don't care the, the, we, we the ingredients. <laughs> 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 the important is drinking. Well, thank you very much, guys, for introducing us to this beautiful culture. Yeah, <laughs> nice. that was awesome. Okay, today's gonna be a great night because the hostel is turning one year old. So my friend is bringing all the guests together. Let's gonna have some pizza, have some fun. Just I gotta tell you that the breakfast in this place is really good. Like every single day there's something different and like Mexican handmade. I just found out that there's a lot of nomads around here, but there's no like integrated community. So Leo and I, we created a whole uh, community. We started with a WhatsApp group. We're gonna try to do some events. Meanwhile, I'm here. And the first one is doing like a co-working day here in the spot. Just gonna bring some people and show them around and see that the Wi-Fi is actually fast here, so. See you later, man. Yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah, the last person, Brendan, just left. It was fun to meet a few of the nomads that are here in San Cruz. So yeah, we're gonna do more events. So we're heading to the the first like drinks meetup for the Digital Nomads. Yeah, with my friend Leo. Are you yeah. excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. We don't know how many people are gonna show up, but that's how it works. You just gotta start it. Yeah. And, well, see hey. and what is this, Brenda? I went, I went with the recommendation, get? and now I have a beautiful bird drink. Okay, cheer, <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers. All right, salud. <laughs> Honestly, whenever I drink this, I just think I think really bad things. <laughs> Money. And a quick update, the community is still going very strong. We had the WhatsApp group and drawing meetups here and there. And also now we're running the Facebook group for Digital Nomads in San Cris. So all information about these uh, groups, they're going to be in the link of the description. But if you're looking for international community of digital nomads, just go check nomadlist.com. They have the information of all the cities around the world. For example, there's information about San Cris. You can see the scores, some guides, uh, some people that have been there, and some uh, pros and cons about the place, everything you want to know about San Cris. And there's a Slack and Discord community for all the digital nomad topics and also some about some countries. For example, if you check the Mexico one, you can see like this girl just arrived San Cristobal. You can see meetups around Mexico City and other places like people are sharing like meetups and hanging out all around the world and also in Mexico. So yes, they're a sponsor of my channel. So please go and check nomadlist.com. Just create your account and you'll be able to meet people all around the world. So thank you Nomadlist and let's carry on with the video. So I'm leaving my friend's hostel and moving into a co-living that everybody keeps talking about. It's called CO404. It's in the other corner of the town, but I'm excited to go and check it out. Hi. Hi, welcome. But so far it looks pretty cool. Look at this room that I have, like the full bathroom, big spacious place. And I also just met the owners right now, so they're gonna tell us more about this place. What is cool for for? It's a place where digital nomads can feel home. And yeah. so we really, really strive to making it focused on community. Co-working is especially designed for like to work the whole day. So a lot of our guests just leave their laptop overnight on the on on the desk and don't have to, you know, put it in their backpack. Uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas and I, we met five years ago in Montreal. Yep. And now we're staying in the same co-living. Yeah, like you that's, feel like yeah. safe and then yeah, you feel home. like you're yeah. at, at your home. Thank you, thanks for creating this space. Yeah, no, no. All right, have five. <laughs> there you go. There you go, thank, thank you, you The first activity we're doing together is waking up at 5 a.m. and going to this park called Montetic to watch the sunrise. It has not had a It's so beautiful. Like opposite. <laughs> 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 ah, it's <laughs> My favorite coffee shop of San Cruz is called Sarajevo and it's just so beautiful. It's a great place for coffee, for like brunch, and even for work. Like they're actually uh, telling people to go work. Thank you. 
So on the east side of the town we have Barrio Los Cerrillos. It's just another chill, nice part of town, but I'm gonna check one of the main museums. It's called Casa Nobolom. It's supposed to have all the information about the indigenous people in Chiapas, so let's go and check it out. So for what I understand, this house was bought by Franz Ferdinand and like it just became later a museum. But it's just beautiful to see how they used to live. There's yeah. even a whole like library place of this. So this is punto, it's like a traditional drink from Chiapas. I never heard about it before. Pineapple, posh, vodka. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> One of the classic Japanese meals. Provecho, guys. I'm gonna show you what's the end of life here in the co-working, maybe like going out later, but we'll spend the first uh, time of the day working and let's see what else gonna happen. So we have a small restaurant in the Colibian and I just ordered some baguette and a smoothie. It's cool though that I can stay here, eat something and just keep working. I was just working when we heard some sound. We went out on the streets and there was a random parade. This is like San Chris in a nutshell. <laughs> The walking streets of San Cruz are so small, so narrow, there's only one person who can pass, maybe sometimes two. So you gotta give permission or just get close to the wall so, so the other people can walk. But anyway, I'm crossing around the market because I'm going to one of my favorite restaurants. It's actually Indonesian food. <laughs> well, I'll try it first and if you want more. Yeah. It's spicy. Very good. Like, <laughs> like, like spicy good. The way I like it. Yeah, no. I found this one called Cacao Nativa. I came here the last time and it was just so good. This is hot chocolate, 100% cacao with some uh, almond milk so man. and to finish the day we're gonna meet with the other colivers we're gonna do a fire pitch just in the garden of the colivers yeah. uh -huh. no, so yeah. yeah. but it's yeah. so easy to so I found one of the few car rentals in San Cruz is called Optima Car Rental yeah it's like for $45 they give you the car for a whole day because we wanted to go to the Waterfall of Chiflon. It's like usually it's around two hours and a half, but we took a little bit yeah, longer. So we, we were like literally almost at the end of it. We to Mexico and Guatemala. Close, huh? We found a cenote, but it doesn't look like that real. <laughs> it's on the way back to San Cruz. <laughs> so that uh, wraps the, the trip. We got uh, the poor man cenote. <laughs> So the nightlife in San Cruz is so active, like it's still like a chill vibe, but the market that you can see in the day, it's also at night, you use like headlights so you can just buy anything you want and it's like lots of people walking around. And while you're in the night market, you gotta try the tamales, this is the most Japanese thing ever. 
Like, there's like two types of tamales and I tried them both, but it's just so good. So cheap and so good. Same Guadalupe Street. That's where most of the bars are. And uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the things that you can do around. Oh, I reserved this private. It's going, it's going. Hey. Feeling good. Find up the house. Why not the house? Is it good? Familia, buenas noches. Somos sentido contrario de San Cristóbal de las Casas, Chiapas, México. Abjala. come to Mexico you have to check some ruins and Leo recommended me some that are very close to San Cristobal just like two hours away and you ask for a person that picked you up in the town of Ocosingo in front of it just in front it's the ruins it's called Tonina Kind of like the same size as Palenque, which is also one of the most famous around here, but that one is five hours away. But this one, this is very interesting. Look at this, boys. And the most famous church in San Cruz is called La Iglesia de San Cristobalito. It's the one it takes a little bit of a hike, a few stairs to go, but the view, the view is worth it. Just to see most of the city, it's just so nice, especially in the morning. So the thing about San Cruz is like, there's so many things to explore. There's lots of inner gardens, like this one's called Frontera. So what do you think about San Cruz? It's beautiful. I mean, Chiapas is so beautiful. And the community here, man. Like, the amount of friends I've made here in such a short period of time. Yeah, good to see you. So this is the Chilaquiles gang. Look at that. Here's for the Digital Nomads. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's the last brunch that I'm doing with the Digital Nomad community, which is fun to bring people together. It's been fun. Hey, thank you for watching the video San Cristobal de las Casas, Mexico. I hope it was inspiring and helpful to decide if you want to stay there. So let's start saying where is it in the map. You have the whole Mexico country. It's way in the south, all the way here in the state of Chiapas. By the way, I am from Tabasco. This is my hometown, Villahermosa. So it's kind of close by. But anyway, if you go down, 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 you have Tuxla Gutierrez, which is like the main city of Chiapas and that's where the airport is. You can land here. So from the airport you arrive to this bus terminal and you can just walk around the city. As you can see everything is walkable. All the barriers that I show you they are all next door. But you can take taxis to go to the viewpoints and also to the two towns that I was mentioning. They are here. And by the way San Cris is up in the mountains so it might be cold at night or especially in winter time. So don't forget to bring a jacket with you. But also all the things around that I did, for example, the main activity, the uh, Sumidero Canyon is all the way here, closer to Tuxla. So it takes like around an hour or so. And the other trips, like the, like the one from the waterfalls that you've flown, it's like in the corner, you see like in the corner between Guatemala and Mexico, which is pretty cool. I also have a link of Google Maps I also have a Google Maps links with all the places that I recommend. Some of them were not in the video because it would have been a very, very long video. A big shout out to Tres Cielos Hostel for my friend. Pretty cool place if you want to co work there. Also, CO404. I really like the community. Pretty cool community over there and the beautiful co work space. And also, the uh, community that I helped build the house. They have a website too, so you can check. All of these links are gonna be down below and link in the description for all the information about these places. 
Lastly, this is the cost of living for a whole month, adding the hostel and the co-living and some going now, some trips. So I think it's pretty affordable, like around $1,300. And also that I'm just counting one dollar to 20 pesos just to make very easy currency conversion. But yeah, that's the whole video. As I said, I think this city is a very underrated gem all around Chiapas, the whole jungle, the whole things to do, the indigenous people is actually pretty cool. Please subscribe to Namalisa.com because they're gonna help me create more videos for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, please, so we can get more uh, people seeing these videos and give me a comment what you think about this one. All right, see you in the next one. Ciao.